Hey guys, this is Pesh from Beyond.com and you know what, a lot of us are staying at home, working from home and this lockdown season, I've been trying out a lot of new apps, new games, so I thought why not share my favorite new apps with you guys. Well, it's time to go vintage Beyond and talk about 8 cool new Android apps that you guys are going to love and you should definitely try it out. So yeah, let's go. Also, I'm sure you've tried a number of apps that show you your notification history, but Filterbox is a notification manager app that takes that to the next level. First of all, yes, it does bring a notification history page, which unlike a lot of other apps looks great. It shows you the current active notifications and the notifications you have dismissed in this really cool looking timeline. You can search for specific notifications or you can tap a notification to see the full text and open the app or even restore the notification in the notification shape. That's not all, you can even create rules to mute certain notifications or postpone them or even dismiss them directly without even you seeing it. There's also an analytics page in the app that shows you the total number of notifications of the day, the apps that have gotten you the most notifications and more. Filterbox has a lot of other features too like biometric lock support, option to add an undo button when you dismiss a notification and more. Filterbox's notification log is free but its rules and analytics feature are available through an in-app purchase of 340 rupees. But yeah, try it out. Okay, next up is Dolby's new app, Dolby On, and it's a pretty cool recording app. Dolby On is a great recording app if you want to record songs, voiceovers, music, or basically anything else that you have in mind. Now, I know this looks like your usual voice recorder app with a nice looking UI, but there's more. When you start recording, the app takes three seconds to get an idea of the noise around you. And then when you stop recording, it applies noise reduction and things like dynamic EQ, volume maximization, stereo widening, easy fades and a lot of handy effects. I recorded an audio and I found it to have very low noise and the voice was loud and clear. Yeah, just listen to this. Hey guys, so I'm just checking the audio experience, audio quality on the Dolby On app and let's see how the noise cancellation and the other effects works. So this is just a test and see how it goes. And this, uh, this is something I'm uh, recording in a noisy room with the fan on. So let's see how it goes. Okay, that's good, right? Plus, you have all of these audio tools here. You can turn on or off noise reduction, add more bass, treble, boost the audio or trim recordings. The app even lets you record videos, so that is great if you want to create videos with very clear audio. So, yeah, Dolby On is pretty great. Another app that I really like and I'm sure you guys are going to love it is TruePix. This is just an amazing app for all those Android customization lovers. First of all, the app looks pretty nice and as you can see, the app has three sections. True wallpapers where you find some really cool wallpapers. True setups where you can see different cool looking setups and third, resources and mockups. Now the wallpapers are great, but what's really exciting is true setups. Where you'll find some really cool looking home screen setups and you can set that up on your phone. For example, I like this colorful home screen. So as you can see, everything you need for the setup is listed right here. And you can just tap on each one of them to go to their Play Store pages and install them. Once done, you can just go ahead and set things up on your phone. How awesome is that? Try it out. I know these days we have phones with base 64 GB storage. And yeah, 64 GB storage is a good amount of storage. But with 4K videos, big sized games, even that isn't enough at times. And that's where Big File Size app comes into play. Well, it's a simple app. You just open it up and it automatically shows you the biggest files on your phone. As you can see, I have some big videos on my phone. So I can just select the files I don't want and delete them instantly. Yeah, that's handy. Anyway, you can also see the files that are taking up the most storage to this tab. And you can see the files where they're extension. Yeah, like I said, it's a very simple app. But if you want to clear some big unnecessary files on your phone that you might have forgotten about, you should install big file size. Okay, let's face it, tasks and to-do apps can be a little overwhelming at times because of their fancy features, the premium pricing. Well, into Pinit, it's truly simple and very effective. Pinit is an app that keeps your to-dos and tasks in the notification shape. The app is pretty easy to use. Just use this create button, add the title and description of your tasks or even your notes, like say, pay electricity bill today, and save and pin it on your notification shape. This way you are reminded of your to-do every single time you open the notification shade, which is something we do a lot, don't we? Plus this notification is persistent, so you cannot just swipe away. 
and it cleverly hides the dismiss button in the drop down so you don't dismiss a task quickly. Yeah, it's a pretty simple app, but the developers plan to add a lot of new features, so try it out. Audio mods generally require root access, but this next app on the list, well, it does not. I'm talking about Wavelet, which is an auto EQ app that's perfect if you want to customize the audio performance of your headphones. Here's how it works. You just connect your earphones and play some music, after which the app shows you these set of optimizations. Now, the highlight here is obviously the auto EQ feature, which tunes headphones to sound neutral so that you get a true audio experience. Well, I have the Galaxy Buds Plus, so I can just search for it and yup, here it is and I can enable auto EQ. There's also a graphic equalizer option with different pieces like bass boost, table boost, loudness, vocal boost, etc. There are also options like bass boost, reverberation, virtualizer, bass tuner and limiter and channel balance. Well, I tried the auto EQ optimizations on the Galaxy Buds Plus and my car studio and I did find an impact, so try it out. And yeah, most of the features in Wavelet are free, including the auto EQ feature, but the different effects here are available for an in-app purchase of rupees 420. Now next up, this app isn't for Android smartphones, it's for Android TVs. I'm talking about TV usage, which is a digital well-being app for Android. So as you can see, the app shows you the duration of time you have spent on different apps on your TV. Yeah, I have been watching a lot of Netflix, so it's obviously there on the top. Now I can also check out the details and set screen time and usage are for an app if you want to limit the usage. That's not all, the app even lets you put a lock to specific apps to pin. So yeah, this is a great all-around app if you have maybe kids at home and you want to restrict their usage. Now the app shows you the usage details for free, but to limit screen time and put app lock, you'll have to make an in-app purchase of 300 rupees. So there are a lot of great feature-packed email clients out there, but TwoBird is a new email client that you must check out. This is the TwoBird email client and what makes it unique is the fact that it looks great with its uncluttered UI and it makes emails cleaner by clearing out things like repeated signatures or complex formatting text. It also has this tidy up feature that lets you unsubscribe with ease. Now along with this, TrueBird also brings you handy tools like notes built in, reminders and features like the ability to schedule emails. Plus I like how the email app is more like a communication app with threaded comments, reactions and more. TrueBird is free and it's not only available on Android, it's a cross-platform email app. So check it out. Okay, there's one more thing I want to talk about. It's kind of a bonus. So yeah, coronavirus pandemic has changed things and social distancing is the new norm. And that's where Google Sodar tool comes into play. Google Sodar is a web tool and you need a device that supports AR core. Okay, so just make sure to update Google Play services for AR on the Play Store. Then go to sodar.withgoogle.com and hit launch, which will open up the camera and show you via AR the two meter distance you need to keep. Yep, this is great for when you are out and about, so make sure to add this web tool to your bookmarks. Well, those were some cool new Android apps that you must try and yeah, my favorite is Filterbox and Big File Size, but what about you? Tell us in the comment section below your favorite Android apps from the list and yeah, make sure to share this video with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.